Hello everyone, CNCHD here and welcome to another mission map. In today's mission we are going to face the map of um, Blaxus. He created this map called Mission is the Desert version 1 remake. And if you are, you are a very old uh, viewer of this channel, you know what the original map is. I think most of you will not know the original map. Unfortunately it got lost during the time. Um, but we are now at the remake. Okay, so let's turn on music and let's have a look at The Mission is the Desert by Blaxus. This map is all about brute force. There is not really a tactic involved, it's yeah, just survive or die. Which I really like. I'm more the person of brute force than uh, tactic. As we saw in the um, Kehil Beach map, I'm more the person of Brute Force. Kehil Beach map is a great map by the way, you should check it out. The video is on my channel. Really really great map, can really recommend that map. Okay, we start at this um, hill here at the top left. We don't have a lot of space to space out our uh, base. So we need to be careful here with placing down our buildings. So there is a little strategy involved. We have two wooden towers, one here on the top, one on the bottom. These are going to be very important. And we start with two dozers. We have no airfield, we have no power plant. We only have this one in the back, which we need to protect. For the beginning only. Later we will not need the power. Since we cannot build power plants but we need to expand our base, I will concentrate on building supply drop zones and just don't care about the power. So, so we will run out of power. But for the beginning we need to protect that to build our base up quickly. Okay, for the top we will have rangers inside, as they will be infantry attacking from the top. And for the bottom we will have only missile defenders. We also need avengers very quickly. And a strategy center very quickly. For the search and destroy for a um, wider range for our avengers. That's going to be very important against the artillery. We also need to protect our Avengers as good as possible. We don't want to lose these. They are very expensive. We don't have a lot of cash in the beginning. We only have these few supply piles with 10,000 each inside. But besides that, we don't have a lot of cash. Okay, strategy center will be finished in time, that's good. The attacks will start in a bit, but f um, when they start we have enough units for the protection. Like I said, what we need are Avengers. These are very important. Here are terrorists and the RPGs. We have no army yet at the top, that will change. Okay, Dozer needs to protect that wooden tower. Let's send some Humvees to the top, urgently. Music is by Stefan Hart. That music is named Tides. If you search on YouTube for Hart Music and Tides, you will find it. Hart spelled with a TH. Congratulations, General. You have been okay, now the, the attacks will um, get stronger every minute. And as soon as the scut launchers arrive, we will have a big, big problem. So let's destroy these rocket buggies very quickly before they turn into a huge problem. Okay, good. There's the first scut launcher. 
Let's bring that thing down. Good thing we have our Avengers. Are we for some reason not attacking the Scut Launcher? Just stopping there at the hill. Not doing anything. That was not good. I really need to destroy that thing, but we don't want to lose that Humvee. Let's get a few more Humvees out and let's build these drop zones. Also the power fusion reactor upgrade is going to be good. They have the hunt hunt script, I call it this way, because they are not set on hunt but uh, the hunt is set on hunt. I know that's confusing. But actually how it works is they, ha they hunt and as soon as they see an enemy they hunt again, so they will not focus on just one unit, but instead will focus on multiple targets and not just run brain dead into your base to chase down one unit. So that's actually pretty neat. Advanced training is coming in handy very quick. We need these promoted units. We have now four scut launchers here in front of our base. Not that good. Not that good. We are now listening to some Tiberian Dawn music. We are going to have to act. And this is a custom one made by. Um, I forgot the name. If you want to uh, know the name of the creator, please let me know. I will search it for you give you the name but he also has a lot of music on the YouTube unit lost it's also one thing I need to finish uh, soon the command and conquer Tavarian Dawn let's play it needs to be finished. We'll do that shortly. Oh, bomb truck. We still have the scut launchers in front of our base. Not that great. Luckily, we have three Avengers. These rocket buggies will screw it up for me because they have a lot of rockets. Avengers focus on a lot of rockets and cannot focus on the scut launcher missiles. Yeah, there are also some random booby traps. The Avenger, not good. Should replace that ASAP. The GLA has power, so we need to destroy the power very urgently to weaken the attacks of the enemy. Uh, I need to destroy these artillery units, otherwise, I will have big problems. Yes, I have a lot of money. I will change that now. Start a second war factory. Got um, quite a few qu uh, scut launchers there. That's good. Drones. Oh, one tower almost destroyed there. Not good. It's pretty. Uh, really sucks playing with our power, but it is how it is. If we can't build power plants, oh, we still can build a fusion reactor upgrade, but this is not going to change anything, so let's not do that. If we don't, if we can't build power, then that is, is that is, that is what it is. That was a hard sentence. Okay, let's build the uh, command center. The command center will take down the power plant for me. 
and GLA cannot rebuild the power plant then, this will weaken the attacks a lot. You know, look at the map, there's the power plant, this pesty thing. And the music is actually a bit loud. I'll turn it a bit down. So like that. So it's not so loud anymore. You have to stream all the time, that's not so good. <clears throat> okay, once the command center is up, I'm going to use the A10 on uh, the power plant. Oh, and traps. And then I will sell the command center again because it's useless anyway. It's only taking away building space in my base. That's something we don't want. We need our building space. Okay, let's try to move out and let's get the Tau missiles for the Humvees, which is very important. Humvees with Tau rockets are very strong and we want that. Uh, Muscat launchers. We should be okay with all these paladins. And the bomb truck as our support. Nice, got three units of him. Okay, command center is ready. Let's, let's destroy the um, power plant. Let's sell the command center and get another war factory on the way on this spot. This way, my units can still drive through there. Power plant is destroyed. Attacks will now weaken as he cannot build so fast anymore. This will help me a lot. Okay, these rocket buggies need to go. Oh, there we go. Now what we need are a few Humvees there for the bottom. And we need to keep an eye on this top. Okay, we'll now send a dozer to the bottom. Rebuild the command center there. I just sold it on the top because I wanted to keep the building space there. But here on the bottom there is quite a lot of building space where we can put down the command center. So let's do that. Keeping the units alive is the key here. So losing too many paladins is going to cost me the game. I need to be very careful there. Also always keep an eye on the top. And as soon as they get promoted a lot, my game is safe for the winning. This map by the way was originally designed for zero hour. Um, for generals I mean. That's why the fire bases are not there and quite some other units, for example the Spectre Gunship and so on. Um, it, as it was designed for generals and when it was imported to zero hour, some units were removed. Okay, what I want is the emergency repair. Top's looking good. Oh, they also finished off the left there, even though I didn't told them to, so... <laughs> but that's pretty good. I like... Okay. Uh, get formated. Okay, that's all screwed up. And there's also an oil derrick there in the bottom. I can take that thing. Unit lost. Targeting 
The map creator is also the creator of the awesome map. Um, how was the name again? King Raptor Spitfire map. There it is. He did also created that map. If you don't know the map, I really recommend to play that map. It's called King Raptor Spitfire map. And it requires a lot of micro. Yeah, it's really hardcore. Oh, double trip. More demo traps. The A ten will help me get to get the pillars out of the way, so they cannot build rocket buggies and scud launchers anymore, and uh, bomb trucks. As these things are really annoying. Okay, the attacks will also now come in from the top. We need to be very careful there. Ouch, that did it. Okay, now let's slowly get the power plants out of uh, the, the arm stealers out of the way. So they cannot pump out these units so fast anymore. And music is by Stefan Hart again. This time it's A Storm is Coming. That's the name of the music title. You can also be found by searching for Hart Music. A Storm is Coming. Let's finish off the command center and the supply stash so he cannot rebuild his workers any longer. It will help me a lot. Because he's going to rebuild these scaffolds all the time. Endless. Oh, don't trap. Okay, only a few workers there on the top, but that's really no big problem. Ouch. Okay, you still attack me on the top, and the uh, wooden tower does not look good. Okay, only one, two, three arm stealers left, and he's rebuilding his palace, which I do not like. We now have some Warhammer 40k music by Florian Issel. Pretty awesome guy. Still rebuilding his base, man. Slowly coming to an end, the A10 is going to help a lot there on the top. Aircraft 
That's only one production facility left and then he's gone. And there we go. We are victorious. That was Mission is the Desert Remake by Blaxis. And yeah, like I said in the beginning, it's just brute force. No tactics involved there. At least not so many. Only a bit in the base building. And with the power plant, but the rest is just brute force. Makes a lot of fun, as you just can relax and keep surviving. And yeah, that was the Mission is the Desert remake. I hope you enjoyed it. More videos are going to follow. Also for other games, the gameplay is going to follow. And I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.